Hello, thank you for viewing my video. This is a video on making eggshell artwork. The materials that you'll need will be some eggs, a strainer, cardboard, container for drying the eggshells, food coloring, white glue, paper towels, water, white vinegar, and an optional little paintbrush or Q-tip or a toothpick. You need to break the shells open and get the eggs, use them for some delicious recipe, and save those beautiful eggshells. You want to rinse them very well, including rubbing a little bit on the inside of the shell to get any food out of there. I like to put them back in the strainer upside down so they strain very well, and they need to be very dry. Once they're dry, then you're going to be coloring them. So you need about a fourth a cup of water or some water in little containers. You need a different container for each color of the food coloring. You put a few drops, five drops of each color in each separate container. And I add about a tablespoon of vinegar, which helps um, retain the color of the shell more permanently and a little bit more vibrantly. I break up the dried shells into the different colors and distribute them evenly by doing one at a time in each one and then rotating around till they're all used up. By the way, you can also use brown eggshells. I just happen to use white. You do need to let them sit in the coloring for a while. Does not have to be overnight, but I left it overnight just to get a nice deep pastel color. You're breaking them up into little pieces, makes it easier, but you'll be crushing them even more later. But this makes them stir up in the container easier and helps the process along. You can add about a teaspoon, tablespoon of vinegar, just plain white vinegar, to each of the containers to help the um, coloring stick. You do not have to leave them in the color overnight, but it does help them be more vibrant if you leave them in the food coloring for a little while. Then you want to strain them. And I rinse them, but you don't have to rinse them. And then I fold a paper towel and put it back in the dry container. Should I say the container that I dried and then um, put each color in a separate container lined with a dry paper towel. You want the eggshells very very dry before doing the artwork. After they're in these containers, you could put them out in the sunshine for a little while to get them extra dry and to speed up the process of drying. Now 
Once they're completely dry, then you can break them up even more with a metal spoon, crushing them and using even the side edge of the spoon to break them up. The smaller pieces make it um, easier to kind of sprinkle on the glue and there are less gaps. Then you get your cardboard and you want to draw a very simple design, sort of like a cookie cutter design. I chose to do an egg. This will just be a nice guide for you to use. You want to then put the white glue in the area where you want to place your first color of your dry eggshells, dry colored eggshells. You want to put these pieces all over the glue and don't worry about having too many little pieces. Push them down into the glue and let it sit for a while to dry. Leave it alone for a little while, maybe five minutes, ten minutes, so that it sticks to the glue and then you can gently tap it to get any extra pieces off and put those back into the other dry eggshells. Then you can add glue for your next color. You do want to kind of push them down into the glue and don't worry about the glue showing. Even though it's white now, when it dries it will be clear. And you won't even see the white of the glue. It's so fun to see the texture of the shells in this artwork. Texture is one of the art elements. Pick your next color that you like. And don't worry if a little piece of a different color gets in the section of the previous color. It's part of the beauty of artwork. We don't want our artwork to look like a machine did it. Take your time and enjoy the process. And push it down into the glue. Now for the fourth color. And the top of the egg. Oh, it's looking so pretty.
And be sure to let the different layers dry before you try to get any of the loose pieces off. It doesn't look like I left it to dry in the video, but I didn't want you to have to stare at a screen while it's sitting there drying. Oh, how beautiful this egg looks with all the texture and the different shades of each of the colors. Please subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications.